this this look will not expire okay <laughs> hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is vanessa if you didn't know so today we're gonna be doing a three-in-one get ready with me i'm so excited and we're gonna be doing it for a valentine's day look so if you want to learn then keep watching so i'm gonna be using the mindful five it's a nourishing face primer serum I've been really liking it. You, I used it in my previous video, so I'm just gonna use it again. I'm so excited, you guys. So I'm gonna be using an eye cream from Fresh. This is the Black Tea Age Delay Eye Serum, and I'm gonna be using it around my eyes. I learned this trick from Daisy I'm from watching one of her videos. She used eye cream before putting on her makeup, and she said it changed her makeup game so i'm trying it and i think it honestly will be really nice that way like when i go in with all the powders my under eye won't look like dry and crepey you know all right so we're going in with the fenty beauty pro filter concealer in the shade 440 y'all know this is my jam for color correcting so you guys even let's say you don't have a date for valentine's day you don't have a man you're single as a pringle you can still use this look for another day for like a night out or if you're going on a date like if you're single and dating you know what i mean or let's say if you want to go out and take pictures if you're going to maybe a baby shower if you're going to a wedding you can still if you're going to prom you can still wear this look so i'm excited about that it's very versatile so don't worry if you're single you can still learn from this tutorial <laughs> okay so now i'm gonna go in with the black radiance foundation stick you guys know this is my fave in the shade espresso and i'm gonna be cream contouring underneath my foundation today. So I'm gonna be trying a whole bunch of new techniques in this video. I learned this trick from Amrezi. She's on Instagram. And I saw that she used her contour, like she contoured and highlighted under her foundation. And in the end, she ended up putting on way less foundation. So I'm gonna try that. I've tried it before and I loved it. So, so she cream contoured and highlighted underneath as her base and then she only had to go in with like one or two drops of foundation and she was good like so i like that because you don't have to use as much foundation in the end and who doesn't want that right y'all i'm about to be popping come and see and guess what y'all i'm not going on no day i'm actually not going anywhere i'm doing this for y'all so we're gonna bronze up the forehead. Make sure you blend it in. This new technique is so fire. So now I'm gonna go in with the Too Faced Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. And we're gonna highlight. When you put on your highlight, make sure you get it really high like this. That way when you go into a contour, your nose will look really snatched. I love this concealer. All right, we're gonna blend it out. This is a lot of concealer. I know. It was gonna be very nice. Okay, so once you've blended it out, we're gonna use the same brush that we used to cream contour, and we're just gonna blend them together. That way it'll be seamless. No lines, honey. No lines. So sound off in the comments. What are you guys doing for Valentine's Day? Are you single? Are you married? Are you in a relationship? Is it complicated? <laughs> so whatever you use to blend out your concealer, use it underneath your contour over here and it will clean it up and make it look sharper and neater. And blend, blend, blend. We're gonna set our concealer with the MAC Studio Fix powder. This is in the shade NC45. And we're gonna bring it all the way up because I want, at the end of my look, I want to look like, like Snatch, like Kim K. Oh, and I'm using the Laura Mercier Cheek Color Brush. And then we're gonna use the Marina Beauté 
contour shade in the shade 300 my favorite i need to find out what other contour shades i can use oh my gosh i forgot to put on foundation it's okay we can skip it no foundation let's see how this turns out i think it's gonna be fine i cannot believe that i forgot to put on foundation y'all all right so we bronzed the face with powder and now i'm gonna go in with my studio fix powders in nw 45 and 46 they look like this and i'm gonna use a beauty blender and we're gonna mix the two and we're just gonna set everything i'm pushing it into the skin try to avoid your contour areas so we're gonna use this powder as like my foundation and i'm going in between my highlight and my contour with the powder that way we don't see any lines don't forget that neck girl that neck that big old neck wow i really forgot to put on foundation y'all that's how you know i'm getting older like how could i forget how could i forget but anyway let's move on to the brows i have a whole eyebrow tutorial a mini eyebrow tutorial on my instagram so once you finish this video sprint jump run whatever you gotta do and go watch the tutorial it's very informative very detailed one day I'll do an updated one on here, but I just thought I'd do it on an IG tutorial first. So follow me there if you're not already and watch my video on there if you haven't already. All right, so I'm gonna do my eyebrows really quick and then I'll be back to do my eyes. So now that we're done with the brows, we're gonna go ahead and bake underneath my eyes to catch any eyeshadow fallout. I'm gonna be using the Laura Mercier setting powder in the shade translucent. Hit it, boom, boom, boom. I'm trying to be cool for y'all. And I almost poked myself in the eye. All right, so we're gonna go in with the Anastasia Eye Primer. Anastasia Beverly Hills, ABH, whatever you wanna call it. I'm gonna use a Morphe M330. And we're just gonna fluff it all over the lid. Even if, let's say, you're not gonna use this tutorial for a Valentine's Day day or any of that, just sit down with me, get your laptop, get your phone, whatever you want to do. Sit down with me and let's do our makeup together. Like, I feel like that's so therapeutic if you're into makeup and then you'll learn new tricks. Your makeup game will be popping. You could take some selfies and either keep it for yourself or post it whatever you want to do with it i feel like that's so fun so i'm taking the laura mercier translucent powder and i'm sitting right underneath my brow that way i don't end up since is, the eyes are gonna be really soft i want to be safe and not go up too high with my eyeshadow this prevents it from the eyeshadow from sticking so easily like right underneath the brow Chicky bong bong, chicky bong bong, chicky bong bong bong, chicky bong bong, chicky bong bong bong, chicky bong bong. If you're Ghanaian, you know that beat. So we're gonna go in with the Amrezy palette. Love this palette. We're gonna go in with New Yorker. New Yorker. I'm not from New York, so I don't really know how to say that. I'm fluffing New Yorker in the crease all the way out and up. You don't have to be very precise with this. We are just windshield wiper motions. Now I'm gonna be going in with the Too Faced Born This Way Natural Nudes Palette. This palette is really beautiful as well. It's all a bunch of nudes. It's so pretty. I'm gonna be using the shade Truffle and we're gonna deepen the crease with this color. So I'm gonna Place the color down first using Morphe M443. I'm so excited for the red lip. That's what's gonna pull everything together. Going back in with New Yorker. I love this shade, it's fire. You always wanna go back and forth with eyeshadow, always. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. That way they really, really blend with each other. You want your eyeshadow colors to look like they're married, not divorced, married. 
Okay, so going back in with my bronzer with the Morphe M507, I'm gonna go ahead and deepen right in here, the inner corner area. That way when I go into contour, it will look so uniform and smooth. Just creating that shadow. If you contour here well, this area right here, your nose will automatically look really snatched. But you have to really make sure it's blended. Like, look from this side and really blend this area right here. Make sure it's blended from the side. I'll give you another angle. Really make sure that here is blended. Like the edges. Which one color should I go? Should I go in with Glistening Snow or Shimmer Pearl? Glistening Snow. Glistening Snow is a little lighter. Um, I think I'm gonna mix the two. They're both really gorgeous. One is more like um, a champagne gold and the other is like um, like a warm gold. So mixing Shimmering Pearl and Glistening Snow, these two right here, we are going to use my Morphe M507 and we are going to fluff it over the lid. We're not gonna cut the crease because I want it to be really soft. So let's place that over the lid. All right, so going back in with Truffle, we're going to fluff the edges of the shimmer shadow that we put on the lid just so it looks more seamless. Ooh, y'all, I'm loving this palette. It's really, really nice. Tip for eyeshadow, always go back and forth with your colors. Just go back and forth. If something isn't looking blended enough, feel free to blend it out again. So beautiful, very beautiful, very, very beautiful. Oh, this is beautiful, yeah, it's beautiful. All right, going in with my fave gel liner, we're gonna use the Inglot in number 77. We are going to put it in our waterline. I am using the Sigma E06 brush and I'm just gonna place it in my waterline. All right, so now we're gonna go in with lashes. We're gonna be using the OPV Beauty in the style Boss Lady. This is my first time trying this lash, so hopefully it's bomb. A trick that I do is I curl it like one, two. That way it's nice and fluffy and lifted. And then I take my eyelash glue and I place it on my lash line first and then I'll put on my lash. This makes it way easier to put on your lashes. You have a lot more control instead of like getting your lash glue everywhere, you know? This lash glue is from Rose Cosmetics. They're a company based in Ghana. I love this lash glue. And the owner is amazing. He's so nice. This lash glue takes only a few seconds to get tacky. So work fast. Oh, this is coming. Look at that, guys. So pretty. And then I take this little eyelash curler and I press my false lashes with my real lashes. I press them together, that way they blend better. This also helps lift the lash. That way it doesn't look like it's like weighing your eye down. You know what I mean? What do you guys think? I like it, it's a very pretty lash. All right, so listen close. Come here, come here. This is for your best interest okay listen and don't forget for makeup artists for non-makeup artists for makeup enthusiasts please you guys i be seeing pictures and i be clocking you guys i really do i clock <laughs> so listen to this tip okay look at this eye and look at this eye when i look up you can see that i blended my real lashes with the false lashes and I used black mascara or black eyeliner, whatever you wanna use, and I covered up any glue or any eyeshadow that fell on my lashes. I made sure that I covered it up. You guys, 
don't forget when you put the lash on even if you did like a no makeup look or you just put a little powder on the eyes don't forget there is going to be a little bit of fallout on the eyes from the powder or anything or from your eyeshadow so you see how this part is like a little bit white from the eyeshadow and sometimes the glue too like with the glue method that i use the glue will get on your lashes a little bit so you want to take your mascara or if you have eyeliner gel eyeliner you can also use that and you want to take it and from the root of your eyelash you flick up and you coat your real lashes focus on your real lashes don't focus on the fake ones try not to get it on the fake ones as much a lot of times it's either that or i'll see like a little gap in between the lash and the lash line don't let this be you don't let me block you don't this thing right here it's from amazon i'll link it below lifesaver you see that bomb so now we're just gonna smoke out the bottom lash line i am using the shade truffle from the toothpaste i said toothpaste oh my god wow <laughs> toothpaste not toothpaste but anyway you guys know what i meant i'm gonna be using the shade truffle from the Too faced neutral nudes palette we're just gonna smoke out the lash line wow my english it got lost there for a second i couldn't find it no more so now we're gonna go in with the lancome eyelash primer i'm obsessed with this primer so what an eye primer does is it gets your eyelashes prepped for your mascara and it makes them look longer than they really are that's why i love it so much all right so now we're gonna go in with the laura mercier mascara when you put the primer on wait like two minutes just so it dries and sets and then you can go in with your mascara all right so i'm going in with the real techniques setting brush and i'm going to press in the bake that we baked i'm not swiping i'm pressing that way we don't disturb the concealer underneath look at that and now we're gonna be taking ruby lip liner and from laura mercier and we're gonna be going over that purple shade remember what i say about two lip liners and then we're gonna use the juvia's place lulu lipstick it's a liquid lip this is one of my favorite reds it's so beautiful and we're gonna go over the lip liner all right so we're gonna go in with the morphe setting spray again and we're gonna make the face moist this is very very beautiful very beautiful let me know if you like the lip so the goal for watching my videos if you want to learn how to do makeup is for you to watch my tutorials do your makeup and go out and for somebody be like oh my gosh who did your makeup and then you'll be like girl me and they're gonna be like what you lying you lying because your makeup used to be mm. <laughs> And then you can be like, girl, I watched Vanessa's tutorial and it taught me a thing or two. Now my makeup is popping, period. I do not want you guys to be going around looking crazy and say that you watched my tutorial and that's why you look crazy. Like, no sis, we're not doing that. All right, now let's get into this hair. I'm gonna go grab my wig and show you guys how I put on my wig. So on to hair. So this is my wig. I don't know what to name her. Name her in the comments below. Just a straight long wig. This is from Touched by Tina on Instagram. She makes basically all of my wigs. She's amazing. I'm just gonna show you guys how I lay it. So I use a hot comb from Amazon and I take this side right here and I just try to lay it really flat. Cause I like the top to be dumb flat and I just go like that. 
nothing too crazy i'm not a hairstylist so hairstylists don't try to come for me but i do take constructive criticism Barely, boy. so i mean i know a lot of people like to do it this way but for some reason it doesn't really work for me so i like to do it so once you've gotten it flat flat you're going to take a little bit of hair wax this is the care care hair wax styling wax also from Amazon just take like a little bit don't go overboard with this because it can make your wig really greasy what should we name her is she cute or whatever but she need a name I want her to have a celebrity name like you know how celebrities name their kids like just like weird names like Chicago or North or you know how Kim names her kids something unique for her so sound off in the comments and let me know this is the fee heat flat form straightener this hair is already straight but i'm just gonna run through it if the hair is not straight i suggest straightening it like section by section that's the best way to do it but this is already straight so hey so you won't come and focus eh? all right so i'm gonna take my garnier fruity sleek and shine it's a hair serum and it just keeps the hair nice shiny and sleek it doesn't i love it because it doesn't make your hair oily at all it just dries right up and gives you a really nice like it makes the hair feel softer too that's why i love it and if your ends are like a little bit dry you can put it in there too and it will not make it greasy at all it'll feel greasy for like probably like one minute and then it dries back up so love that i'm just gonna comb it out and then i'm gonna show you guys how i glue it on all right so since this is a closure wig i'm able to just pop it on and off since i'm just doing this for a video i probably won't glue it down but usually i'll glue it down with the got to be blasting free spray so i'll spray the back of the tweezer like that and then the product that's on here i'll press it in where like the closure is at or you can spray directly sometimes that's scary because you can end up spraying where you don't want to spray and then i take my kendra's boutique little edge control thing like edge control head wrap so i'll tie it like this for about not even five minutes probably like two three minutes you can do five minutes to be safe and then once once i let it go it'll look like it's melted in into my scalp all right so i'm gonna go ahead and put on my dress and then we'll go from there all right guys so this is the dress it is so cute let me give you a close-up again it's like, um, it has a really beautiful sheen to it. Snatches your waist, keeps your titties tight. <laughs> Continue. It's very, like, classy, sleek, definitely for a night out. Oh my guys, our bolas. Let me know what you guys think. You have to be your biggest fan. And when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working, but there's something inside of you that says, I just have to follow that. Because you don't know who you're going to